headquarters in New York. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with an ABC News investigation of what appears to be an opportunity lost. This is about a man who was in the process of trying to broker a deal that might have avoided war with Iraq. He was the middleman between Saddam Hussein's chief of intelligence and senior advisors to the Pentagon, including the man sometimes called the architect of the war, who has confirmed the story. The invasion of Iraq is history now, but this report from ABC's Brian Ross fills in the details of a debate that continues. The Iraqi's go-between was a Lebanese-American businessman in Beirut, Imad Hajj, known to have ties to the Pentagon. Hajj tells ABC News he was secretly approached by an Iraqi intelligence official about six weeks before the war. Based on my meeting with this man and uh, what I was told by him and uh, his associates, uh, I think uh, uh, an effort was there to avert the war. One week later, in mid-February, Hajj went to Baghdad to meet with Saddam Hussein's intelligence chief, General Tahir Habush, later labeled by the U.S. as the Jack of Diamonds in the regime. Habush is still at large. And they were trying desperately... Desperately to, uh, to get the message across that they want to cut a deal. On February 20th, one month before the war, Hajj sent the Iraqi offer to the Pentagon to officials in the office of Assistant Secretary Paul Wolfowitz. Among the Iraqis' offers, what was termed disarmament to be validated by U.S. agents on the ground. And he said, if it makes the U.S. feel more comfortable about it, they could send 1,000, 2,000 uh, agents, scientists, to come and check for weapons of mass destruction. Ha says the Iraqis also offered to turn over a top al-Qaeda terrorist they had in custody, Abdul Rahman Yassin, for whom the FBI has offered a $25 million reward. Yassin is still at large and is suspected of being behind some of the recent attacks on U.S. forces. He said he's worth $25 million, and we, uh, we want to show good faith that the U.S. take him. The back channel efforts then moved to London in early March at this hotel, where Har says he met up with Richard Pearl, the then chairman of the U.S. Defense Policy Advisory Board. Pearl confirmed to ABC News that he met with Hajj in London, thought the offer was sincere, and was prepared to meet with Iraqi officials. But Pearl says he was told by the CIA not to do so. I called his office at Chevy Chase, and uh, he'd indicated that uh, the consensus, it was a no-go. A no-go. Right. Hodge says that ended the back-channel effort to avert war. It seemed to me there was a genuine offer. It was on the table, and uh, somebody should have... Uh, should have talked, at least talked. Ten days later, the war began.